Bangsamoro is now officially an autonomous region within the Philippines. It's a move that could bring an end to one of the deadliest and longest running conflicts in Asia. Bangsamoro Autonomous Region replaces the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao, formed in 1989. It gives the Moro people more control over the area. Governance Bangsamoro will now be governed by a directly elected 80-member parliament, which will choose a chief minister and two deputies. The region will also have a wali, who will act as a ceremonial head. Judiciary The legal system in Bangsamoro will be split in three. Sharia law, supreme only to the Muslim population, the traditional or tribal justice system for the indigenous peoples of the Bangsamoro, and the local courts ruled by national law. Budget Moro will have more control over the internal revenue collection in the region. 75% of it would now go to the Bangsamoro and 25% to the central government, which is an increase by 5% for Moro people. Security The central government will control security in Bangsamoro. The Moro Islamic Liberation Front will have to disband its army, but its members can join the police force. Resources The region has an abundance of water resources. The preservation and management of all the inland waters shall be under the Bangsamoro government, the only exception being if the water is used as an energy source for areas outside of the region. So will the autonomy of Bangsamoro mean sustainable peace for a turbulent region?